This is why we don't use steel wheels on it because the steel wheels damage the cleats. So what I was taught, you know, initially I only just did it from the inside. And I was at a class in Wisconsin of all places, and they said the best way to mount and dismount are from the outside because the wheel won't pull off. We should literally break the wheel. Okay. So you push on the pedal, they all come out. Let's say, for example, this isn't big enough to put your big 17-inch diameter tire on. That's not a problem. Pushing this button right here, and those will slide out. Same thing if you need to go smaller, you could go smaller. Make sure they're all the same. You have something like, like this middle, 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 outside one. It's not going to mount up. Okay? And then to put it back in. And then the other one. We turn the center shaft, but the wheel and tire stay stationary. Here, it's an just like an accelerator, push down on it, and it turns car. And you can go real fast. And you go real slow, like a model team. And then it dies. Just like a model team. Over here is our bead breaker, which has historically been kind of broken, but we'll show you anyway. Um, remember, these machines don't have thoughts, they don't have feelings, they don't care if you get hurt. So what they call a touchless machine. So here, between the, the spoon and the rim, you leave about half to three quarters of an inch. The button to get this thing going is right here, where my forefinger's at. Make sure it's hard to get those hard rubber pucks right there, locks. And then push the button, push the hand up here on top of the wheel and tire. Sometimes you gotta turn the wheel and tire several times to make that happen. Flip it around. And sometimes you'll do the front, it'll push the back on, or vice versa. Don't forget to always have to let the air out of the tire before you start any of this. Now we're gonna grab this from the outside. Get speedy up. Contact. Take the handle, push it towards the wall. My handle comes up. See, it come up just a tiny bit. 
So now that's not touching the rim. So now it's not, it's touching. Here, you can still hear it. So it hits the rim. Turn this knob until it makes contact and then go about another quarter turn. All right there. And right now, if you listen, step it down to because it's hitting here. Here's where you need your tire iron. Take this. It's kind of a um, piano here. Take this, sit on the tire, reach in here and pull this up. Bring it up to like that. Now a lot of people leave this in. I don't. Pull that out. Hold on to it for now. And then as it's going around, lift up on the tire. Help it out. It's coming up on that TPMS sensor again, so you gotta be kind of careful here. We'll take this, go past it. So we don't damage that. Pull that one up again. Pull this out. You can hold that up here because a lot of times I don't want to drop. Move that out of the way. It's on. Okay. Done with this. Put that away. We'll lubricate this thing again. Again, both beads this time. Put this back on. Here, show you the picture just like before. Leave it right here. Swing this back around. Now, come here. You want the tire to be the bead to go here on top of this, top of this part of the shoehorn, and then underneath here. Okay. Do it here. You got to be down in the room. Down in the room. Around like this. And then I can literally put it on all by itself. All right, and then rotate it. All right, now, come up close on the TPMS and we'll roll past that. Okay, here. Make sure it's down in that valley. That's the part people struggle with most as it turns up the bees. This looks pretty good. Now, here's what the tool is for. It's all pneumatic, goes up and down. Go up with this, swing this around. What this is for is if you have a hard time pushing on the target because it's a real strong sidewall, bring this around. You'll get your fingers pinched in here. Go right there, push on the tire a little bit, and this thing will guide all the way around. And you don't have to push down on it anymore. Watch this. How cool is that? Raise this up, get this out of your way. Push on this, get that out of the way. Now, here's the problem. We've got this room from the outside. Are we gonna be able to inflate it that way? Because we've got four spots on the rim that the tires are between the claw, the, 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 the claws and the thing. So, unclamp it. Pick it up. Put these in. Now clamp it. Now we're clamped on the inside. So now there's nothing between the room and the, and the tire. Thing. So now you have to like lift and twist the tire. Like that. Get enough in that upper B, top B. Put this side here. First arrow. Kind of poison this. Alright, that's it. Remember, don't put your fingers on top of it. When it pops, it'll be dead. Really good aggregate here. And there's a button here, so if you go too much, you'll air off there. And it's a miracle you found the other tool. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's a little bit tired. Take this off. Okay, so let's say you want, I want these things to say 20 PSI when you're done. It's 
Okay. When you're done, you remember not to leave your fingers on top because when you release it, it's gonna it's gonna pop. It's gonna jump. Questions? Outstanding. Have you had that demo yet? Go over there.